I'm going to prove two things. I'm going to prove that the 144,000 is only from the 12 tribes of Israel. And I'm going to prove that they're not virgins as in they never had sex. That's not what he's talking about. But I'm going to get it from the big book. Holy Bible. And the big book. So first in Revelation chapter 7 verse 1 And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth Holding the four winds of the earth That the wind should not blow on the earth Nor on the sea nor on any tree And I saw another angel ascending from the east Having the seal of the living God Yahweh, And he cried with a loud voice To the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and sea Saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God, Yahweh, in their foreheads. And I heard a number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So verse 5. Twelve thousand from the house of Judah, that's the twelve tribes. Twelve thousand from the tribe of Reuben. Twelve thousand from the tribe of Gad. Verse 6, 12,000 from the tribe of Asher, 12,000 from the tribe of Nephtalim, 12,000 from the tribe of Manessis, 12,000 from Simeon, 12,000 from Levi, 12,000 from Issachar, 12,000 from Zebulon, 12,000 from the tribe of Joseph, and 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin. They are the 12 tribes of Israel, the Negroes, the Hispanics, and the Native Indians. And for all who don't know, the Hispanics actually went on slave ships before the Negroes did. This is Revelation chapter 14. Y'all can read it all the way down, pause it. It speaks about the virginity of the 144,000. So y'all can read all the way down, but I'm going to read starting from verse 4. These are the ones who have kept their virginity. And it says E, but I'm actually going to read the explanation before E, and then I'm going to read E. So y'all can read everything and then get D, yeah? It says, the earth which is here equivalent to the world of the fourth gospel, John 1 and 10. The pagan world. Now if you was reading the verse before that I told you to pause and read, it would have showed you that Christ is coming for those who are not worshipping the ways of the world, which is Christianity, Islam and other religions, right? Now this right here says in E, yeah, metaphorically, this is for the virgins now, E, right? Metaphorically in the Old Testament, marital infidelity is a metaphor for idolatry. Hosea chapter 1 verse 2. In this case, the worship of the beast. So in this case, those virgins are going to be virgins from worship of the beast, like the Antichrist, the fake Christ that y'all are worshipping in the church. Yeah, and that Islam, Fulanish, and all of those religions that y'all are worshipping of the world, of the pagan world. So I'm a virgin. Shalom.